Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are very impressed with the way that humanity continues to evolve, continues to grow spiritually. And we continue to look for all the various ways in which you are improving yourselves and becoming your fifth dimensional higher selves. One of the ways that you do this is by focusing within yourself and looking for that which is good, that which is love and light, when there is something going on outside of you that is not to your liking. When you know that looking at a particular problem or certain information is going to bring you down, and then you choose not to look in that direction, and instead you choose to feel for the truth of who you really are. You grow. You become more of your true self. You demonstrate to all who are paying any attention that you know you are unconditional love. You can be the love that you truly are in any and all circumstances and conditions. You don't need to wait until there is someone standing in front of you who is lovable to get you to that place. You don't need to wait until some cute, furry animal crosses your path to feel that love inside of you. You definitely don't have to wait until love is being showered upon you before you feel it. Trust us when we say that love is constantly being showered upon you, but you don't always feel it. You're not aware of how much love there is for you most of the time, and yet you can still go within and find that love at the portal to source that exists at the center of your heart. And you can do that no matter what's going on in the outside world. Anything that you want to be happening in your life that isn't happening is not an impediment to you being the love that you truly are. Anything that you are experiencing in your life that is an issue, a problem, anything that is troubling to you. None of those things are a good enough reason for you to take your attention off of the truth of who you really are as unconditional love. When you come across some upsetting news, some world event that could get all of your attention and that could bring you down, you must choose love over fear, worry, or sadness. When you are choosing love, you are also choosing compassion. And so, if something truly bad is happening out there to other people and you become aware of it, you don't have to turn away, not completely. You can feel your compassion and send your love without making it the new topic that you are following obsessively on your phone or computer. You can be aware of problems that are going on in the outside world and still live your life without letting those problems consume you. If the amount of plastic that is currently in your oceans was on your mind constantly as you went about your day on dry land, you would have a hard time living your life joyously or contributing anything to society because you would be in that lower vibration that focusing on that particular issue is sure to put you in. And so, you must take care of yourselves if you are going to be of value. If you are going to be of service to others, you must take care of your vibration so that every person you meet throughout your day is uplifted by you and your presence. Someone you know in your life right now might be mourning. They might be going through the hardest thing they've ever had to go through and you can still be there for that person without going there vibrationally with them. You don't have to try to cheer them up or convince them that there is a better way of looking at this situation or thinking about it. You can allow someone else to be in their sadness without joining them in that sadness. Your compassion can come from a place of just feeling okay, because certainly having a lot of sad people around you could bring you down, and you just have to ask yourself the question of, is it really going to help them if I join them in their sadness? You can do more good for those around you who are suffering by not suffering. Because you will subtly and unconsciously be sending them an invitation to join you in a better feeling place. The world needs balance. And so if one person is sad, there has to be another person who is happy. The happy feeling person doesn't have to feel guilty that they too are not sad because they will have their turn to be sad. Everyone will get the opportunity to feel everything at some point in their lives. And once you all do feel everything there on earth, then you have the capacity to choose. If there is something going on in your life right now, or in the world outside of you, that could get your attention and could cause you to worry about it. You have to ask yourself whether worrying about it has ever helped. 
You certainly can think of instances in your life when not thinking about the problem has been precisely what was needed to bring the solution. Remember that the next time you start to go down a road that would take you to a lower vibrational place, and remember that you always have a choice. Especially on a world like Earth where there are so many choices. We support you no matter what you choose, and yet we always invite you to the light, to the love that you truly are, and we nudge you in the direction of joy. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Original Title no matter what happens, you need to remember this. The 9D Arcturian Council, channeled by Daniel Scranton at danielscranton.com Thank you for watching Universal Lighthouse Galactic Messages and Spiritual Teachings. Please use your own personal discernment on all content posted. If you enjoyed the different authors that are shared, please subscribe to their content as well. You can visit our blog page at universallighthouse.com and subscribe to receive daily posts via your email. And while you are there, tune in to Universal Lighthouse Radio, broadcasting 24-7 for your vibrational needs. Again, that's universallighthouse.com.